Hi, my name is Kweku. I'm a pharmacist. Today, we'll be talking about vitamin B1, also known as thiamine. We will take a look at the signs and symptoms of deficiency, who is more likely to be vitamin B1 deficient, and the foods that you can eat to boost your levels if you do not want to take a supplement. Now, vitamin B1 or thiamine is one of the essential vitamins that our body needs to function properly. It plays a crucial role in energy production, in cell growth and maintenance, and even in your nervous system. Now, a thiamine deficiency Efficiency can result in various symptoms such as loss of appetite and weight, confusion, muscle weakness, memory loss, and even in some cases, heart problems. In some instances, a deficiency of thiamine has been implicated in restless leg syndrome. So if you suffer from restless leg syndrome, that is one vitamin that you need to be paying close attention to. Now, in severe cases, a vitamin B1 deficiency can lead to a disease called beriberi, which also includes symptoms like numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, loss Loss of muscle and poor reflexes. However, it is worth noting that beriberi is not a very common disease in developed countries such as the United States. Now, on the other hand, another condition called Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome is a more common example of thiamine deficiency uh, here in the United States, affecting individuals who drink too much or, for want of a better word, alcoholics. You know, it may lead to symptoms like numbness and tingling in the hands and feet, severe memory loss, disorientation, and confusion. Now, the recommended daily intake of vitamin B1 for adults is 1.2 milligrams for men and 1.1 milligrams for women. So no, you don't, your body doesn't need too much. Now, certain groups of people are more likely than others to have trouble getting enough thiamine. So we're talking about people with alcohol dependence, uh, older individuals, uh, people with HIV or AIDS, uh, people with diabetes, or people who have had bariatric surgery. So if you fall into any of these categories of people, you need to be paying a little bit more attention to your vitamin B1 level. Now, fortunately, there are many foods that are rich in vitamin B1 and can definitely help you to meet your daily needs. Now, here are some of the best foods uh, to boost your vitamin B1 intake. Now, the first I have on my list is pork. Now, I know there may be religious and other reasons why people may not consider pork, but it doesn't change the fact that pork is one of the richest sources of vitamin B1 among animal foods. A three ounce serving of cooked ground pork provides about 0.6 milligrams of vitamin B1, which is 50%, half of the daily value. Now, pork also contains other B vitamins such as riboflavin, niacin, and vitamin B6, as well as minerals like iron, zinc, and selenium. The next food on my list is fish. Fish is another excellent source of vitamin B1, especially fatty fish like salmon, tuna, uh, trout, and mackerel. A three ounce serving of cooked wild Atlantic uh, salmon provides about 0.23 milligrams of vitamin B1, which is approximately 19% of the daily value. Obviously, fish also provides other nutrients such as omega-3 fatty acids, protein, vitamin D, and iodine. The next food on my list, seeds. Seeds are nutritious plant foods that are high in vitamin B1, as well as fiber, protein, healthy fats, and antioxidants. Now, some of the best seeds for vitamin B1 are flax seeds, sunflower seeds, hemp seeds, pine nuts, and pistachios. A one ounce serving of flax seeds or sunflower seeds provides about 0.47 milligrams of vitamin B1, which is about 39% of the daily value. Then we have beans. Beans are legumes that are rich in vitamin B1, as well as protein, fiber, iron, uh, folate, and magnesium. Uh, some of the best beans for vitamin B1 are black beans, navy beans, uh, kidney beans, soybeans, and lentils. A cup, which is about 172 grams serving of cooked black beans, provides about 0.42 milligrams of vitamin B1, uh, which is about 35% of the daily value. Then we have green peas. Green peas are vegetables that are high in vitamin B1, as well as vitamin C, vitamin K, folate, and manganese. A cup serving of cooked green peas provides about 0.45 milligrams of vitamin B1, which is 38% of the daily value. Green peas also contain phytochemicals that have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Next food, brown rice. Brown rice is a whole grain that is high in vitamin B1, as well as fiber, magnesium, uh, phosphorus, and selenium. A cup serving of cooked brown rice provides about 0.26 milligrams of vitamin B1, which is about 22% of the daily value. Uh, brown rice also has a lower glycemic index than white rice, which means that it will not spike your blood sugar levels as much as white rice. Then asparagus. Asparagus is also a vegetable that is high in vitamin B1, as well as vitamin C, vitamin A, uh, folate, and potassium. 
a cup serving of cooked asparagus provides about 0.25 milligrams of vitamin B1, which is 21% of the daily value. Now, asparagus also contains glutathione, which is a powerful antioxidant that helps protect the cells from oxidative stress and oxidative damage. So these are some of the best foods to boost your vitamin B1 intake and prevent deficiency. I truly hope you found some value in this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and catch you on the next video. Stay blessed.